Wait a minute, what is earnest money? Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dawn Sanders with Keller Williams Realty with Georgia Coast Homes. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, what is earnest money? Okay, it's not Uncle Ernest's money. It's money that you put down at the time the offer is accepted that basically says, I'm serious about this house, I want this house, and I'm putting my money where my mouth is. So I want to show you, here's my intention. I am serious. I'm a serious buyer. I'm putting down earnest money. Typically 1%, sometimes people will accept $500, sometimes a thousand. It all depends on what the seller's asking for. That also is something that can be negotiated. Once the offer is accepted and they have verified the funds of your earnest money, then you are in a binding contract. If you do not proceed to put down your earnest money, the contract is void and null. The actual receiving of the earnest money is what makes the contract valid. So what happens with the earnest money is it's held in an escrow account by the realtor, either the listing agent brokerage or the selling agent brokerage, it really doesn't matter. And it's held in an escrow account that cannot be used for anything else. They will deposit these funds and verify these funds. So don't think you're just gonna write a check for $2,000 and they're not gonna verify whether you have actually that $2,000 or not. What does the earnest money go towards? Well, you can have it go towards your down payment or you can have it go towards the closing cost. So it can offset either one of those. You will be getting that money back at closing in some form. So basically, if you're looking for, the, for a house, you'll need to have saved up enough money for earnest money. Basically, go for 1% of the sales price of a home. So if you have that saved up, you're on a good start to getting your new home. Okay, guys, we've talked about earnest money. If you have more questions about the due diligence period, we've made a video for that too.